Is the universe discrete or continuous? I used to be very keen on discrete. I did yes. People told me, oh, I've I got to go into anecdotes. I'm too <laughs> old. I just talk about anecdotes <laughs> in the physics. Okay. If you want an anecdote, I can give you an anecdote. I used to be very keen on discreteness. There were two things in mathematics that I thought, oh, these are the nice things for physics ultimately to be based on combinatorial things or maybe complex numbers. And I think I sort of at that time thought combinatorial things. Are, you know, I'm surprised if you came from algebraic geometry that you would be more keen to the finite side, the discrete side. I probably was at that time. You see, I, I had a sort of gradual conversion. I think the conversion came with David Finkelstein. When, as he said after his talk, he gave this talk that Dennis Sharma took me to when I was a, I was a research fellow at Came at St. John's in Cambridge, and we went drove to London to hear this lecture given by David Finkelstein, which was on the Schwarzschild horizon, which is not a is not a singular is a horizon. Sure, and he described that, and I found that amazing. I thought it was very beautiful. At the end of the talk, I had a long chat with him about spin networks. So I described the spin networks to him, and he told me afterwards that this meeting we swapped subjects. I did general relativity from then on, and he had been doing GR, he swapped under combinatorics. I consider I got much the better deal. But that's, you see, I, I was thinking about combinatorial things, and spin networks were very much that kind of thing. Can you not think about the complex numbers which you give you the directions of spin for a spin half particle, or do you instead think about this network, which is really the important thing, and the direction comes out of the network? Now, that was, I was playing with that idea. Very. And you said you've changed your tune now to be on the more continuous side or continuum side. I just, well, the power of complex number, complex analysis was the other thing which had impressed me. And it's more drifted onto that side. Do you think the continuous lies at the classical level and then the discreteness lies at the quantum one? 